there's a left and a right to this. I don't don't know which is which right now. But this is pretty obvious. This is where this goes. Not maybe so, yeah. And then we got a special brake bolt here that goes through it all. And this is going to hold the caliper onto the on the bracket, this is a really good kit. They've even protected the threads with a little piece of PVC tubing. That was a lucky one. It went right in without having my bracket. Alright, so. Looks like I lucked out right off the bat. down in right in flush with the plate. I'm not going to bother trying to dig up an Allen wrench at this point. We're just finger tight. So I think even if I use my inside one, see I got plenty of room here. Put a bolt on that, that'll work just fine. So, looks like uh, the instructions say you have to cut it a little. I would assume it'd be right in here where it, it's touching the, touching the edge of the axle. I think I might just grind it just a little bit just for, just for safety's sake. Make sure that this caliper's not pinched in any way. Feels pretty loose. But it's definitely just contacting it just a hair right there, so maybe a sixteenth of an inch needs to come off of that. But that looks like where everything's going to go. Oh, I had a 50-50 chance of it being the right one. Probably if I'd have looked at it a little bit, I would have Knowing what I was doing. Yeah, see, this is going to point up now. So I'll just get the, these things are pretty precisely cut for the for the caliper, so they got to be in both sides at the same time. Good, nothing's binding. Screwing right in, finger look tight. I won't even have to grind that with this one here on it, flipped around. Looks like I've got, you know, hundred thousandths or something like that in there. And this is gonna keep my you know it'll have the flat style hoses like this. And uh I don't think it'll interfere too much here. Uh, once this, this keeper doohickey goes in here, I don't know where my nuts went, but uh, normally there's sort of an acorn bolt that goes on here. This doesn't have it. These are just, you know, just regular old. Things. I don't have my kingpin in right, but probably what will happen, I'll have like a half an inch here, and uh, 
it looks like it'll contact it about right here somewhere. And if, if, it's, if it's wrong, I can put another nut or something so my brake caliper is not actually limiting my travel. But from straight on to where it would hit, I don't know. I guess that's about 45 degrees. That's a pretty sharp turn for a wheel. I don't think I'll have any trouble steering the thing. And uh, I think this setup is going to be just fine. It's a lot better than the old one. And uh, I'm glad I spent. It cost probably another $400 to to get all the stuff rather than try to get old 44 brakes on it uh, but with this blown Hemi in it or blown motor it ought to be going really fast so that's one of my main concerns is good front brakes back brakes is not that important but the front brakes are very important and it looks the same on this side as it did everything's turning real well so finally something went right here I didn't have to didn't have to touch nothing I have to press my spindles on and, and my races and stuff like that and uh, they came this for a change came with a you know, good set of instructions it is from Speedway yeah 37 48 Ford spindles 11 inch rotors so it's got a good good set of instructions here and a decent picture so I shouldn't have any trouble assembling this and making it work really well now the next thing I guess I know that this all works I'm going to pull that pull that axle out of there and clean it up and paint it because I don't want to be putting all this stuff in it and then me trying to paint around all this nice new stuff and so I put the brakes here in the front. Uh, I think pretty much always the brakes are in the back, but uh, I don't see where that would make any difference because the physics is still gonna gonna turn the thing clockwise, no matter where it is on the circle once it grabs. Uh, I suppose it would put a little more weight towards the front of the car instead of the back of the car uh, might look a little better might look better in the back because this will all be kind of hid back here and the front will be open but uh, it will definitely solve any kind of interference problem here my right turn it's it's going to be pretty much exactly the same my brake will stop it here uh, don't have any kind of a bump stop here in the front but it'll stop about there and that looks like it's about well maybe I think a little more than on the other side And uh, this will give me a real clean shot right here with the, my stuff. I don't know which would be best. Maybe there's a reason brakes are in the back. I may be wrong, but it uh, seems like they're always in the back. Uh, I don't know. I was just looking at this and thinking about what I should do. I was hoping this would give me a little more turning radius, but uh, looks like I'm going to be limited to hitting it here or hitting it in the back. Depends on where I put my my caliper. And I tried thinking about switching sides, and you know now I got my brake hose pointing down is all. I have exactly the exactly the same problem basically. 